how do you work at trying to spread the expertise and the innovation across all of their sector instead of staying in a single island? Yeah, yeah. Silo? Um, that's outside of my role. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I think ultimately, like for all my uh, fun talk about behaving other networks, like actually the more I, I, I was an intern at QEH, so I felt like I was a QEH doctor. And then I gradually I moved across the RISE and registrar and I felt a bit like a Callum doctor. And then I moved to Lyme Cure for six months, I went down to Flinders for six months, and more and more I've actually felt like I'm an SA Health doctor. Um, yeah, with all the jokes aside, it's all just fun to answer, to be honest. Um, I think, you know, we there's always this kind of friendly competition of things that we do, but ultimately, if something gets, you know, implemented, it's it's eventually just going to share and it gets spilled over into these other networks. Um, many things already have. So the the stuff that I did on Discharge Summaries, for example, that became Callum policy in middle of 22, no, middle of 21. And then um, the following year, it became uh, Salon policy. And I'm literally at the moment, one of my things is rewriting the guidelines. So it will become Nallon policy. It's already about Gambia network policy. It's already Flinders and Upper North policy. And that's something I've gone, this is cool, let's share it. And the same thing with all the coding videos. Every time I produce a coding video, I send it to every executive director of medical services across all the ones who have been interested. So that's about half the rural networks and all of the metro networks because I'm going, this is a free resource. If it helps us all have more accurate data and more accurate funding, why not? We should all have this. And, and a lot of people even email me from other states going, is it okay if we use this video? And it's like, it's so polite. It's like, you know, it's on YouTube. I can't stop you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but it's so polite because it's there's so actually there's a bit of a culture of making sure they don't want to step on phones or stealing ideas. I'm like I put it on YouTube because I think it's a good idea, and it, you know I haven't monetized or anything like that. Maybe one day you pull a bit of money back from all my late night editing that I've been doing. But um, I think ultimately, if you've got a good idea, you could share it. And we should definitely do that with SA Health, where we're all under the same firewall with digital stuff. So once we have good digital ideas, we should share them. And as you spoke to, it's about implementation. And there's other, other, other networks willing to adopt new workflows. Um, and even like the stuff that we do, we're trying to improve, like we're trying to change the discharge summary for the whole of EMR. It's a long process, but we're in that process now that will align with a lot of the work that I've done and, and other people have done as well. And that will kind of just bring everyone on board with a better way to do discharge summaries. So that, that's a positive thing. And then following that, hopefully the AI will then just write them for us. And there we go. So, so that's the thing to mind.